Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 13 box Young Guns Hockey Mixer, a random team break with this McDavid being given away. Woo! All right, that looks pretty nice. There you go, pretty nice grade on here as well. What, a $1,600 value? Maybe more? Could be more? We comboed up the Ducks and the Golden Knights. No vet common ship. There's going to be a lot of base in this too, so just hang in there. Those are all the boxes right here. Big thanks to everybody over here. Some of you won spots. Some of you got spots straight up. I appreciate it either way. There are the combo team on top and the rest. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three easy times. One and a two. Names and teams. One, two, and three. After three times, we got William down to Ryan. One and a two, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. After three times, we got the Buffalo Sabres down to the Minnesota Wild. Good luck. William with the Sabres. Jay with the Islanders. Brian with the Kings. Dylan with the Maple Leafs. Brian with the Flyers. Mac with the Canadians. Ryan Carlson with the Penguins. Patrick, Sharks. Brian Croft, Predators. Lightning and Stars. John with the Devils. Jonathan with the Panthers. Adam with the Oilers. Kenneth with the Bruins. Adam with the Flames. Mac with the Blues. Robert with the Senators. Daniel with the Blue Jackets. Lonnie with the Avs. Sean with the Hurricanes. Michael McCarthy. That's Mac with the... Red Wings, Dylan, you got the Jets, Bradley with the Canucks, Steve with the Combo Team, Ducks and Golden Knights, Brian with the Blackhawks, Mac with the Coyotes, Brian Croft with the Caps, Michael with the New York Rangers, and Ryan Carlson with the Last Bot Mojo Star next to your name, Minnesota Wild. Let's get all this on one screen here. Sort by column B by team. I'm going to pause the video and allow for a little bit of trading time, and when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. And then we'll do the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, folks. So there was a deal. Buffalo and Boston were traded. So now, William, you're in the Boston spot here. And Kenny, you now have the Sabres. Buffalo! I, I don't think that's true, Rory. I'll bet if we went back through 40 of your filler break orders, we've done this for people before, I'll bet you that you are not 0 for. 0 for. People think they are, but they're really not. All right, here's the final printout. There you go. That's what we're giving away at the end. So if you have a bad break or you don't like what's happening in the break, don't worry. We still have that going on. All right. Well, let's let's start working through this. We've got 2019-2020 Series 1 hockey. I don't know. We'll have to check the tape, Rory. We'll, we'll, have, to, we'll have to see. Now this break has a ton of boxes with a lot of base, so it's going to take a little while, but we'll get there, folks. Stand by. Bear with me. I don't know anything about this hockey, so you're going to have to let me know if stuff's any good. I guess I'm just pulling young guns out of, out of here. I think this break is probably going to take me an hour and a half instead of an hour. What draft class? Is this the Dylan saying this is, come on, Matthew. Is this the Austin Matthews draft class?
And Joel Embiid's having a really nice season here. So Michael is saying Jack Hughes, Capo Caco. And this one here, all right. Uh, Matthews is 18, 19 maybe? 16, 16, 17? Hmm. Patrick Lyonet, 18, 19? Elias Pedersen? Brock Besser? Well, whatever it is, we'll, we'll find, hopefully we'll find all of them. There's Matt Roy, Young Guns. For the Kings, that'll be for Brett. I think he's been getting some minutes. Johnny Goudreau. Young Guns Canvas would be nice to see out of here as well. But that'll still ship. Only Vet Commons won't be shipping. There's Quinn Hughes. He's pretty good, right? Canucks. That'll be Bradley with the Quinn Hughes. Or is it the other Hughes? Jack, do we like Jack Hughes better? We'll do left-right randomizers on, on all of these, too. Joel L'Esperance for the Stars. That'll be Brian Croft with Dallas. Young Guns, Teddy Bluger. For Pittsburgh, that's going to go to Ryan Carlson. Young Guns, Upper Deck Canvas, Young Guns. Victor Olafson for Buffalo. Kenny just got the uh, Buffalo Sabres in a trade. Buffalo! And Upper Deck Game Jersey, Shea Weber for the Canadiens. Young Guns, Mackenzie McEachern, and Ryan Suter flipped around. Is that a variation something or other? McEachern will go to the St. Louis Blues. That's going to be for Mac. We got Zach McEwen and Roddick Faxa. Young Guns for Vancouver. That'll be for Bradley. Daniel Sprong. And that's the first box. All right. Next box will go. Current year, 2020, 2021, Series 1. This is the Alexi Lafreniere card class. Is that what we want out of here? I think so. Working on my hockey knowledge. Lakers Sixers on in the background. 
Sixers up 23-16. Five minutes left in the first. Just started. I think Lakers are... I think, they've, I think they're undefeated on the road or something like that. Some crazy, some crazy stat. So more of these left-right randomizers right there. And Morgan Geekie? Young Guns. And a Matthew Kotchuk Dazzlers for Calgary. That'll be for Adam. The Young Guns will go to Carolina. That'll be for Sean. There is a Vitali Krastov, Rangers, Young Guns, Michael Moltz. So I guess you're looking for the Lafreniere in here. Josh Norris, Young Guns. That'll be for Ottawa. It's going to go to Robert. Got Nico Hersher for New Jersey. That's going to go to John. Not numbered. Artemi Panarin, Dazzlers for the Rangers. We got Igor Zamula, Young Guns for Philadelphia. Brian Croft with the Flyers. Joseph Wall, Maple Leafs Young Guns, Toronto, Dylan. And uh, Igor Korshov again, Young Guns card for Dylan and Toronto. All right, another box down, another one to go. Let's stay in that series one mode. This must be a mega box or a blaster box, whatever they call it. Mega box, I think. Bonus pack right here, too. My T Rex tape looks amazing. You think all these tape companies are the same? Like Frog Tape, T-Rex Tape, Gorilla, it's all, just all the same company, but they're pretending like they're competing against each other. Uh, 
There's a, uh, I think there's an old conspiracy theory that goes around every once in a while that the, the two rival Philly cheesesteak shops are actually owned by the same people. Or that might be true, I don't know. Yeah, big big tape. Adam Kupperman, you're right. Big tape out to get us, taking our just pitting us against each other while they're while they're clearing the, my body clearing the, the pro profits. Time zone. Yeah? yeah. It's two hours not that bad. There's Martine Kaut Avs. Uh, although I heard the Central Time Zone is a better one for sports than Pacific. Really? Yeah, because you get the NFL games at noon. That's actually not a bad so time. So in. sometimes 10 is a little too early. 10 is a little too early, you know? Yeah, I've heard that, Adam. There's no evidence to it, but but yeah, Geno's and Pat's, some, some have said maybe they're just, maybe they're owned, they're owned by the same people. We went to Geno's. We, I think we're a Geno's family here at Jaspers. We went to Geno's when we were in Atlantic City. You think, you think, uh, you think all those tape companies are the same? Gorilla Tape, T Rex Tape, Frog Tape, and all the money's just going to the same place? What? They're like rivals. They're fake rivals, but yeah. they they're one big company that produces What's the different the brands of tape. Eighteen hundred. No. The Hatfields and McCoys yeah. were rivals. That's fake. Yeah, I think we're we're, we're I think we're a Geno's family here. All right, there's some team triples right there. Sean Jaspi has a representative for Big Tape. He's saying there's no collusion. I think there is. I think, like, what if, what if we, like, what if we Jaspi started a different breaking company secretly? You know, and there'd be a whole thing about, and we'd create like fake competition. We'd be like, oh. Those guys at Jaspies are tr like the other guy would be like those guys at Jaspies are trash, you know. Come join our group breaks, and you know the people that don't like us, you know, will go to them. But then really, it's just going to us. <laughs> you know, and the host on the other channel would be like, "Yeah, train whistles dumb. What a dumb team over there." But really, it's just in a different room over there. It's a different set, <laughs> but it's just at our shop. Hey, Jaspies, come break with us. But then the money's really going to the same place. Will the prices be lower? Yeah, maybe. Screw those guys over at Jaspies. We're a dollar cheaper here. And we don't charge for shipping like those other guys. Our prices are totally lower. But no one would know. It'd be the same price, but they just wouldn't check Jaspies because they'd just be like, well, we hate Jaspies. And I'd be like, and we have free shipping, but like we have free shipping too, but they're just making lies about us. And be like, what? Jaspi charges for shipping? That's crazy. We'll go with Gaspies. <laughs> That's true, yeah. We'd have to, we to keep the ruse going, we'd have to, we'd have to soundproof all these rooms. There's a Ben Bishop Dazzlers out of the Series 110, and here's a Victor Soderstrom Young Guns. Exactly, Danny. That you, you see, you're getting it. There's Victor Soderstrom, Arizona. That'll be for Mac. Ben Bishop Dazzlers for Brian and Dallas. Some more Opeachy rookies here. Let's do one more tin.
Exactly, Sean. Yeah, that's he. And that could, I could get some 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 uh, false rivalry going, and then. I don't know. It's, it sounds like uh, sounds like maybe like like a a WWE plot, and it'll 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 reach a height where uh, where there'll eventually be like a celebrity like boxing match between myself and the anti Jaspies. You just get so much hype. Right, over at Graspies, they like Star Trek, not Star Wars. Oh, man. They like Yu-Gi-Oh! and not Pokemon. They like the, they, they like the, the Giants, not the Dodgers. Oh, it'd be, it'd, it'd be like reverse world out there. Parallel universe. Clippers, yeah, Clippers fans. Oh. All right, let's see what's in this tin here. We got Philip Brober. What up, bro? Edmonton. That'll be for Adam Copperman. Kevin Fiala, Dazzlers. Go crazy, go the cell. That's too much now. You've gone too far, Danny. There's Kirill Ustamenko for Philadelphia, and that's going to go to Brian Croft. And we've got a Bo Hovart for Vancouver. That's going to go to Bradley. Piece of his jersey. There's Oli again. Young Guns for Vancouver. That's going to go to Bradley. All right, what do we got here? We got 15, 16, 20, 20 minutes. Let's save this. Let's do more 2020, 2021 MVP. Collect the first rookie cards of the season. All right, I'm game. Yeah, Gaspies will hire someone who knows hockey names. Might even be just all hockey. Who knows? It'd be just like, just like Geno's and Pat's. They're the same. Money goes to the same place. It's like big tape, gorilla tape, T-Rex tape. It's all the same. All part of part of Big Tape Corp, run by like Lex Luthor. I don't know what a what a Demi Gorgon is, Danny. But apparently we have to watch out for them in the Upside Down. What are you guys doing here? Some turnovers I don't like. Oh, they, they Sixers turn it right back over. Uh, 
uh, Stranger Things creature. Right. I've, I've never seen an episode of Stranger Things. Just a little too strange for me. No, Nelson's going with the Sixers. He needs his Joel Embiid cards to go up. Rookie cards to go up. I guess the rookie cards are highlighted like that. Connor McDavid. Oh, that's just just a different teal vibe here. Okay, I get it. Here's a die cut here. Jacob uh, Markstrom to 250 for Vancouver. That'll be for Bradley. I got to get in on it? I guess so. I'll get in on it once that series ends. Not really a, not really a TV guy. I feel like I mean there, there's no there's no like end, so, so like I I, I kind of want a more defined beginning, middle, and an end. Otherwise, it can just go on forever. Miss that. It's an autograph right in the middle there. Is that a real autograph? It's Jonathan Taves for the uh, Chicago Blackhawks, Brian Croft. No, it's not. Oh, that's pretty close, though, isn't it? <laughs> that's, that's definitely. This is one of the best I've seen. No, this is what I just. Does this look like an auto to you? It's not, but. It's one of the. This is probably one of the best I've seen. See, like this, you can tell is a facsimile, like right away. Yeah, this one looks real. That one looks pretty close, right? If yeah. you're just blowing through it during a break and it was just like, boop. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> but then I looked on the back and there was none, there was none of the information. Yeah, it's not nice. See that you can tell. A lot of times it's pretty obvious. It's a little too close. Well, false alarm, Brian Croft. But you'll get that. You'll get that card anyway. All right, where are we here? I think I want to save these 15, 16s together. What's back here? Synergy, stature. Should we get? Should we, should we dig in some old Panini hockey from 12, 13, 14? Two autographs, two memorabilia cards per box, on average, I would imagine. Let's see what we got. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. We're about, about halfway through this break. 
think a few more base heavy stuff and then we'll get to the good stuff towards the end. Synergy, then Satcher, then that Cup Hockey, which is, what year are you, 1819 Cup Hockey maybe? Pretty heavy card stock here. Gail Howarchuk, 114 out of 199 for Winnipeg. That's going to go to Dylan. Is that a piece of his stick, maybe? It's kind of cool. It's Matt Hendricks. I've heard of Joe, it's Joe Thornton rookie worth holding on to here. There's uh, Anti Ranta, Chicago Blackhawks rookie auto. Going to Brian. Patrick has uh, San Jose. And we've got Ryan Strom, New York Islanders. Oh, all the cards say rookie because of rookie anthology. Well, that's a little confusing. I'll just roll, keep rolling with these then. 47 out of 50, Ryan Strom, Islanders. Goes to Jay. Oh, there's actual RC logos on these? It's very confusing. I don't like this guy here, Nikita Kucherov. All right, we got Merrick Mazanek, Mazanek, Preds, Brian Croft. Hopefully he's good. Rookie Relic. And that Dominion design. Kind of see the Dominion seal down here. We got Thomas Yurko, or Tomas. Rookie auto for Detroit. That's going to go to Mac. Hopefully all these guys are good. And there's Ryan Strom for the Islanders. Two-color jersey and autograph. Islanders. Another one for Jay. All right, um, should we roll into some SP Authentic from 2019, 2020? Does that mean we should do stature next? Could be a sign. Every box contains at least one Future Watch rookie hard sign autograph card.
All right. Next box, good luck. Ah, okay. I will open it next. There's an Adam Johnson Young Guns for Pittsburgh. That'll be for Ryan Carlson. It's a limited card here as well. And a redemption, Max Jones for the Coyotes. What year is this? Ducks. There's Pierre-Luc Dubois, limited. Wait, where did he end up going again? And there's Kyle Turris, Sign of the Times autograph for Nashville. So Predators, that's going to be for Brian. And this will go to Anaheim. That's the combo team, Steve Birch. Who won that trade? Like I feel like I feel like from what from what little I've read, like I think I guess Lion A wasn't happy where he was at, and obviously Pierre Luc Dubois wasn't happy where he was at. But is was that a fair trade? Kind of both unhappy players traded for each other. Pretty even swap according to Sean Jaspi. And there's Jesper Brat, Future Wash autograph for New Jersey. It's gonna go to John Deneen. Nice silver ink autograph right there. Capo Caco for the Rangers, Future Watch, 607 to 999. So William says coin toss, maybe, maybe lean towards Columbus getting the better end of that deal. There he is again. Some synergy. Are you kidding me? All right, let's go. We got Rasmus Sandin to seven ninety nine. Ryan Paling, Steven Stomkos to eight ninety nine. Lightning Brian Paling goes to 
Mac and the Canadiens. It will be for Toronto. the numbered cards. There's your autograph, Zach Ascension, for Boston. And I'll go to William. This guy good, William? Yeah, just as you were finished saying, eh, all right, eh, on Zach, but still an autograph. All right, let's roll into some portfolio. This is 16, 15, 16 portfolio. And rookie redemption from the 16, 17 class. One autograph and one mem and one memorabilia card in each box. Uh, Dylan, is this where we're looking for the Austin Matthews? much more nicely. Upper Deck, if you're listening, every product should have the packaging from this set right here. Ooh, four left on that NT baseball, TJ's reminding us. Yeah, let's get that knocked out. Yeah, we'll be done with this break fairly in the next next 15 20 minutes or so and then I think we only have you know, according to the schedule maybe just one like quick filler pack to do and then we'll need to need to have something to do after that I'm going to do the cup last. Should I do stature first and then OPG platinum? Because there's McDavid possibilities in this, right? Should we hold that towards the end? I forget what stature looks like. I'm blanking on that. Oh, I remember this set. Sounds good, says well, all right. There's a Nicholas Backstrom center autograph, portfolio autograph for Brian and the Caps. It's pretty good, I think. Rookie Phenom, Max Domi. Is he still a Phenom? I don't think he's on the Coyotes anymore, is he? Portfolio material. There he is again. Max Domi, Coyotes. Michael McCarthy, Mac.
What Max Domi's dad played? TJ's thinking he maybe not as not as good as old Pop though. All right, let's get some 1920 stature going here. Excuse me. There's Max Jones to three ninety nine. Got Rookie Reliance to 99. Dimitrio Timashov. These cards look kind of sharp. That pile there. Just keeping the Young Guns card separated. There's the 75. Carson Kuhlman for the Bruins. We got an autograph. Oliver Wallstrom. 64 out of uh, 85 Islanders. Jay Goins. John Marino to 15 for the Penguins. It's going to go to Ryan. A couple other cards here. Elvis Mers Lincolns. We got a Sentry... Momentous, Phil Esposito. Tied on All right. Um, all right, let's get into 1516 OPG Platinum Hockey. We got some, uh, I think this is the McDavid opportunities here. I remember when this set first came out. I feel like we've. We busted open a lot of these back at the old store. Lake is only down two. A few minutes left in the half, first half. Sixers up 47 45. Good luck, everybody. Second to last box. We got Tarasenko. We got there's Max Domi again. Nick Shore. These are the marquee rookies that I think people like out of this these sets. Sidney Crosby, Johnny Goudreau, Trax, Miko Rantanen. For Colorado, Lonnie, Sean Monahan tracks, Andres, Athenasu, Detroit, Connor Hallibuck, Buick. Soros for the Predators, some die cuts here. Shane 
Jake Bertanen. That is black ice to 99. It might just be some regular ice. White ice to 199. Devin Shore. Garrett Sparks for Toronto. Nicholas Patan. Panarin. Lindbergh. And Jordan Wheel is your rookie autograph for the Kings. Who's got my Kings? Brian Croft. I'm trying to watch more Kings this year. <laughs> At least. Shane Prince. Malcolm Subban, Shifley, no, none, none, of the, none of the big names here, like Connor McDavid, but we still, we're still giving away that Connor McDavid. Later, the, these are the white ice, white ice, and black ice to 99. All right, let's close out with the cup hockey. 1819, the cup hockey. Good luck, everybody. This is their super high end, their flagship high end product. One side could be a little more difficult to open than the other side. Good luck, everyone. We're going to lead off with 67 out of 149, Darnell Nurse for Team Canada. Wherever he goes. Right, I'll, get, I'll get top loaders later. I don't have any more back here. Um... I don't know where he goes. We'll look that up before it goes out. There's Travis Dermott, 130 out of 249. William saying Edmonton, so that's probably for Edmonton, Adam Kupperman. Maple Leaves to 149. That'll be for Toronto. That's going to go to Dillon. We got Connor Hellebuyck for Winnipeg. That's going to go to Dillon as well. And from Dylan to this Dylan, Dylan Dube or Dube, Flames, that's going to be for Calgary, Adam Kupperman. We've got a randomizer here, looks like. No, all three are Devils. Kyle, I'm going to try these. Kyle Palmieri, Taylor Hall, and Nico Hersher. 25 out of 33. New Jersey Devils, triple relic for John. And the last one here is Rasmus Dahlin, rookie class of 2019. First round, first pick in 2018. 118 out of 249. And that'll go to Buffalo. Kenneth, Kenny with Buffalo Sabres. Buffalo! And that's that, ladies and gentlemen. That was the Cup Hockey. Send that to Edmonton. And let's do some left-right randomizers. And we'll randomize everybody's name and see who's going to get this. Connor McDavid. So if you're sitting there going, boy, my, this break was rough for me, Joe. 
I did not do well. Don't worry. We still have a shot at that. First off, let's do the left-right randomizer here. And then everyone has a shot from Steve. Down to Dylan. Everybody in between. We'll use one dice roll for both lists. Good luck, everybody. Five and a three, eight times. Left and right sides first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, it'll be left side cards. Getting those. And then the big one here, five and a three, eight times name on top, gets the Connor McDavid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Five and a three, eight times. There's eight times right there. Thanks, everyone, for getting in, first off. I appreciate it. Whether you got in to try those filler spots or got spots straight up, thank you, thank you, thank you. And congrats to William. Wow, with the spot that he won in 10 number four, William L. with the Connor McDavid, 15-16 upper deck Connor McDavid, young guns, graded a 9-5, centering, edges, surface, all a 9-5, corners a 9. Very nice. That is awesome. A, possibly a $1,600 value as well. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was the 13 box. That was Jaspi's 13 box. Young Guns Hockey Mixer. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.